What's up gamers, I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Thursday, April 11th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Since Stardew Valley's 1.6 update dropped last month, developer Eric Verone has been busy fixing bugs with three follow-up patches, and now a fourth one is on the way with exciting new features. Verone hinted at a few goodies in the update, including new fishing and mining related content, generating buzz among fans. Despite ongoing PC updates, Verone assured players that the development of update 1.6.4 won't slow down the release of patches for mobile and console platforms. The latest update for the Xbox app on PC introduces game hubs, allowing players to conveniently track progress, browse DLC, and view game-specific captures all in one place. Additionally, the April 2024 Xbox console update enhances Discord functionality, enabling players to hear or disable soundboard effects through a toggle among with other features like notifications for low OneDrive storage and access for restrictions for other users installing or uninstalling games and apps on the console. These additions aim to improve the user's experience and evaluate frustrations, particularly for gamers managing storage and controlling console access. Blizzard is ramping up penalties for mid-match leads in Overwatch 2 upcoming Season 10 update with trigger punishments like 5-minute queue bans for leaving 2 out of 20 unranked games and 48-hour suspensions for leaving at least 10 out of 20 competitive games. Deserters face even harder consequences, risking season-long bans for repeated offenses, aiming to deter deliberate match abandonment. Additionally, the introduction of wide groups in competitive mode aims to facilitate gameplay among friends of varying ranks. Exciting news for fans of Vampire Survivors, the game is finally making its way to PlayStation consoles. Filling the dreams of many players who have longed for the experience alongside with the allure of earning trophies. Developer console has confirmed the winter release window for the PlayStation version, along with plans to offer all DLC packs upon launch. Additionally, a thrilling crossover DLC pack named Operation Guns, inspired by the classic Contra series, is set to introduce a plethora of guns and an arcade-style difficulty curve, catering to fans of old-school shoot-'em-ups. PlayStation has unveiled its lineup of games for PlayStation Plus Extra and Deluxe members in April, promising a diverse selection and some exciting day one launches. Alongside the highlights are titles like Day the Diver, Oddballers, and Construction Simulator, each offering unique gameplay experiences. Additionally, PlayStation Plus members can look forward to the classic titles like Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, and Star Wars Rebels Assault 2, providing a nostalgic trip down memory lane. During the Triple I Initiative digital event, Konami announced collaborations with Vampire Survivors and V-Rising, introducing content inspired by Contra and Castlevania. The V-Rising collaboration, set to begin on May 8th, will feature Simon Belmont as a new addition along with a free content update and paid Legacy of Castlevania premium pack priced at $19.99, offering a plethora of cosmetics and themed items. While this collaboration is exciting for fans, it may not fully satisfy those eagerly awaiting a new title entry in the Castlevania series, which has remained dormant for a decade despite its enduring popularity and legacy in gaming. Starting May 10th, Electronic Arts subscription service EA Play will see a price increase following similar moves by other companies like Microsoft and Sony in rising prices of their online based subscriptions. Originally launched in 2014 on Xbox One and later expanded to PS4 and PC, EA Play offers subscribers access to a library of games published by Electronic Arts, while subscribers to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or PC Game Pass already have access to EA Play's library, the standalone service will now come at a higher cost. Power World is set to introduce a PvP mode called Power Arena later this year, as announced during the Triple I Initiative Showcase. Players will engage in battles against each other using their pals and power collectors with a teaser suggesting a PvP format. Details such as matchmaking, rewards, and restrictions are yet to be clarified, but CEO Takaru Mizubi previously mentioned the possibilities of real-time action battles or asynchronous battles where pals fight automatically. The teaser also hints at new types of pals such as Quaver and Baton. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.